Hey guys, it's Steve here. I'm very glad to be back bringing you another tutorial. Um, we've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, finally, it's here, Responsive Site Designer. Uh, this is a very exciting piece of software. I'd like to, uh, first of all, start out by just thanking the Coffee Cup team. Um, you did an outstanding job. Uh, I know uh, you guys are planning to take this further and make it even better than it is. But trust me, guys, uh, you're going to love this uh, software. Uh, it works great with Responsive Layout Maker. Um, and, and in today's tutorial, I am going to show you guys from scratch how to uh, open up a Responsive Layout Maker project and convert it. And I'm also going to just uh, use my own website uh, that was built. And we're going to show you an example of how to put a menu uh, built with Coffee Cups Menu Builder into a Responsive Site Designer um, design. So the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to just fire open this uh, uh, Responsive Site Designer software and um, you'll notice at a quick glance here, um, sorry this is really not part of the tutorial, but I thought just a quick glance here I would share with you just kind of uh, what you're going to see uh, in the software. Uh, it's very similar in some ways to Responsive Layout Maker and in a lot of other ways it is um, very much uh, more exciting and there's a lot more things you can do. Um, you're familiar with your Layout tab and probably your Element tabs. Uh, there's a few more items in here. Uh, this is the exciting item right here, the HTML element. This is going to um, save us lots of time uh, adding our menus after we export. Uh, we won't have to do that anymore. Um, the design elements, uh, this th this is quite different than what you're used to seeing. Some of it's the same. You'll recognize uh, the dimension section here. Um, you'll, you'll recognize that from Responsive Layout Maker, but uh, they've added a whole bunch of nice stuff here. Position, uh, background, you can add images to your background, uh, borders, you can add radius, you can always add borders but now you can also add radiuses to your borders right within the program and also some box shadowing effects for all your stuff. Um, and then you have your settings which this is very exciting this is also new to uh, site designer and it is very different you don't it's not the same as responsive layout maker responsive layout maker doesn't have this section uh, it allows you to put your page titles uh, so you can make them different than uh, your actually the name of your page like in responsive layout maker you had no choice and you can add your descriptions keywords and all your header and footer information this is awesome and also has an inspector the inspector will let you see all your elements and rows and columns and be able to manipulate them by moving them around so that's just a general uh, out of the box quick uh, preview of, of what responsive site designer is now to get and focus on our tutorial first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find my responsive layout maker project and we are gonna open up and it takes a couple minutes um, it's important the larger your website is the longer it will take to uh, open up your project mine's roughly about 15 pages or so so takes a little bit of time just to import everything especially the first time once you launch it the second time it's not quite doesn't quite take so long okay so um, I open it up and the first thing I notice is it's not on my home page well that is probably because I went the last page I was working on in responsive layout maker was uh, my testimonials page so of course it remembered those default settings when I exported it here one thing I also will get you to notice is right off the top, way up here, it's still opened up as a responsive layer maker project. Um, don't worry, it's not, you will not affect anything in your responsive layer maker project uh, by editing anything in here. As soon as we save it, um, that will change into a responsive site designer project and you uh, won't affect anything in your, in your responsive layout maker project. Okay, 
Um, I'm going to give you a little bonus tutorial here. You probably have already figured this out if you've been using the software, but um, the most obvious question is, is how do we get our images? Because we all wanted our images in our project in Responsive Layout Maker. Now this is awesome. For the first time ever, we can actually see our images inside our Responsive Site Designer. This is awesome. So what we're going to do, uh, you can add your images one at a time. Um, uh, if we click on the image here um, and go to Design, which is your middle choice, uh, you'll see this drop down here. More than likely, yours is going to be on placeholder. That's what when you see yours get imported, it'll be on placeholder. Um, I'm just going to go to my index page here because I don't want to edit this page. Let's go to my home page. So, as I was saying, you probably will see placeholder here because that's what Responsive Layout Maker does. Um, what the first thing we're going to do um, is you can either add a local image right from your computer or if you have all your images uploaded in a certain spot on on your server you can go to online image and you can put your link in but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go local image uh, it'll bring you to this project resources and this 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 thing here is very different this was not in responsive layout maker and um, uh, this is very exciting we can add our project folders right within um, the RSD project. I'm going to go add folder and then I'm going to navigate to where my images are and you can go right into your responsive layout maker if you already have an images folder um, from your responsive layout maker project which you probably do you can just go right to that project again grab this folder and select it and there they are they're all in here. All the images that I used for my website are, are right in here. Well, at least for my home pages in here. And now to change the image, we go to placeholder, local image, go to our images folder, and we're going to find my image, which is right there. Select and it's in there. That is exciting. This is awesome. Uh, this is what we were all waiting for uh, and it's finally here. This this is exciting news. Um, now to get to the second part of the tutorial um, which is the actual focus of this tutorial we're going to talk about how to add in a menu in, in the uh, RSD project. Um, and to do this, what well, first thing we're going to do is now I'm going to assume you guys have already made your menu. We're, this is not a menu builder tutorial, so I'm going to assume it's already made. You're familiar with the with the uh, software and you know where to go to grab your files uh, that you need to uh, get this menu in. The place I like to start all the time is again. Let's go to resources up here, and we're going to go in and we're going to add another resource folder and we're going to add the resource folder that our menu uses and when you export your menu it will spit out a folder um, and that's what we're going to find and I'll add folder and I know that this is my menu yours might be called whatever you named your menu underscore exported uh, just like before we do not want to just click here and add it um, we want to go inside of it and add add the contents of the folder similar to previous tutorials on how to add a menu to your project you don't want to upload the exported folder you want to upload the contents so we're going to select that folder and it's going to pull in everything and this is where the magic happens guys um, all our stuff's in here all our style sheets all our javascript for the menu that we made and we just hit ok now uh, the second part is obviously is we got to get the code in here we got to get the menu in here we don't have to use these navigation placeholders anymore um, thing I, I do is you gotta open up your um, menu now this is this is the code from the menu that I built with menu builder um, we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just double check and make sure that we've added the header code right here for our menu. And to do this, we just go to the settings. You can either get to it from here. You just get click on here 
and um, you can see that I have added in in my responsive layout maker project um, it carried anything that was in the header of my responsive layout maker project and it carried it over which is awesome it saves time saves work um, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna assume that you didn't have this in there um, if if you're not changing anything and you're using the same folder the same code uh, from the menu builder as you did in responsive uh, layout maker then you don't really have to do anything you can just leave that code there I am going to assume that this was empty when you came here we'll pretend that you've never added a menu this is your first time adding a menu um, so this is what you'll see everything is going to be blank I am going to now paste the code that I just copied from my menu builder and so it's all in there uh, the next thing I have to do is go in and we're gonna go to the elements and this is the exciting element uh, right here um, the HTML element oops you can see I double clicked it by accident and it added it here um, if it pops it in somewhere else where you don't want it um, just delete it um, I like doing the drag and drop instead of the double click because the double click will wherever your uh, mouse last had focus on the column that's where it's going to add it um, I like to just drag just like I do with anything else uh, drag and drop it in and then we can go in and right click on this uh, placeholder and delete it so now all we have here now is the HTML element now if we double click this element it's going to take us into the design properties and right away let's give it a class name navigation dash menu um, you can name it whatever you want uh, I changed my tag to navigation and I go and grab my code for my menu just starting underneath the body tag and all the way to the end body tag and we're gonna copy all of that code and then we're gonna come back in here and paste it all in there now you'll notice unlike images <clears throat> that the menu doesn't actually show up here uh, if we change this tag back to div um, of course it's not going to do it for me now anyways um, we'll leave it our tag at nav and I've heard that rumors in the forums or I've heard comments or people talking about that coffee cup might be working on actually making uh, this previewable so it, we can actually see the menu right within our project uh, I really hope they do because it'll just bring everything kind of together and and look but the way I see this thing is I, I view it I was a big VSD user in the past um, it was a great piece of software for its time um, I'm very excited to use the new software uh, I think of this HTML element field in the same way as I do uh, for HTML element in the VSD software uh, it's just gonna show a block there but when we upload it it will actually show um, the rendered contents of that uh, of that element and and just like VSD um, for now uh, what we have to do if we want this menu to go across more of your pages you don't have to go through this process on every page once you got it set just right click on it copy or control C or use your edit copy up here there's lots of ways to do it copy it and then just go to your next page takes a little time to render I'm not gonna add the image but I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go back to my elements tab oh no I am sorry we don't have to do that I'm gonna go right here click on there I'm gonna right click and paste there's my HTML element if if it pops somewhere just pop somewhere else in another column just grab it and drag it up it, it you can drag it anywhere you want to drag it and then delete this 
and repeat the process for every page. You don't have to do the rest of the stuff we did for the first page. Once it's done, just copy and paste this menu to, into place on all your pages. Very exciting stuff. So I'm just going to go back to my index page. There we go. So now what we want to do is something I'm going to just take your attention to. It still says Responsive Layout Maker Project up here. But as soon as I go save or export, if I export, it's going to ask me to save. I am just going to go save. And there it goes. Just a special note here. You are now working with an RSD site, not a responsive layout maker. And it had no way affected anything with responsive layout maker. If you went to open the project, it will be just as it was when you left it. Then I am going to export. And I did notice this takes a couple seconds too, depending on the size of your site. If you have a, if you're starting a new site, it'll be very quick. Um, navigate to where you want to export it to. I just want to export it here. And your project has been exported. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to open up the folder. And you can see here, this, this exports all your pages and your images folder and your menu folder. You don't have to go in and once you're done your menu and, and extract it to this location. It already picks it up. It's there. And in fact, if we uh, just go to the index file, just double click on it. There it is. This is the, the output. Um, it will look exactly the same way when I upload it. So I'm going to select all my contents here for my RSD project and upload it to my server. And I'll just pause this while it's uploading. Hey guys, um, I'd like to apologize. I went to pause my video and when I paused it and resumed it, it kind of messed up uh, where everything was at, what we were doing. and uh, But basically, um, when, when we resumed, I, I uploaded my contents. My contents did show up here. So that's great. And uh, if we go and double check it here, in, in where I uploaded it to my server, we can see the menu showed up perfectly. Um, and it also, if we go to the SEO page where I also added it to, if you remember, um, it shows up there. But if I go to the next page, of course it doesn't. It shows the navigation menu button there and uh, of course all we have to do is go back into our RSD project and just copy our element here to all of our other pages. Uh, we do not, again, have to go in and add uh, all this stuff into our HTML element because it's going to be there. And we don't have to go in because once we add it to our settings windows here, it's going to be there. Uh, you might want to double check your other pages to make sure that your your header information is there. If your menu doesn't work, that means that this header information is blank and you just got to repaste the code into there to make it work. That basically wraps up our tutorial for today. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed and learned and please just play around with the software. It, it is really, really good software. Um, makes it a lot more uh, intuitive, uh, especially if you've used Responsive Layout Maker. Um, I'm excited to learn more about this and I know there's a lot of new exciting things going on um, with Responsive Site Designer that uh, the hardworking folks at Coffee Cup are doing to, to make it better. Please go in and leave some comments in how to improve RSD because I know they're listening. This is the best time to get in there and make your suggestions in the forums to um, what you think could be improved. Um, and uh, yeah, that wraps up this session. I hope to bring you many more on Responsive Site Designer. Uh, I'm always lurking around the forum, so if you need to um, ask me a question there, go ahead. And if not, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, uh, feel free to leave a comment or a question below, and I will get back to you um, as soon as I can. 
Alright guys, thanks. Until next time, we'll talk at you later.